Hello everyone, it's Mac, your community manager. The latest update for Dungeon Alchemist has added the ability to use tokens with Hero Forge integration. Though we tried to make this as simple as possible, we've noticed there's some confusion that we would like to address. In today's walkthrough, I will teach you how to link your Hero Forge account, what type of token you can import, and lastly, how to use your tokens in Dungeon Alchemist. So let's get started with another episode of Give a Damn. Step 1. Linking Hero Forge. Load up HeroForge.com. In the top right, click Account, and then Personal Info. Locate your access key, then copy it to your clipboard. Next, in Dungeon Alchemist, select the Token tab. You may have noticed under each section there are already some tokens provided. These are included for free, courtesy of Dungeon Alchemist. However, to import your custom-made Hero Forge tokens, your accounts must be linked. To do this, select the Hero Forge tab and paste your access key into the text box provided, then click Connect Account. Depending on how many Hero Forge tokens you own as 3D Digitals, this process can take moments to minutes, so be patient. As a bonus gift for linking your account, Hero Forge provides you with five pre-made tokens, a Fighter, Priest, Ranger, Rogue, and Wizard which you can find under the Character tab. A small disclaimer, all gift tokens are only available for use in Dungeon Alchemist and are not added to your Hero Forge account. Step 2. Purchasing Tokens Create or load an existing token on Hero Forge, then click the Finish button located on the lower left. Scroll down and select 3D Digital. Then click Add to Cart and process your purchase. Hero Forge renders your token and then emails you when it is complete. They claim this takes up to 24 hours, but my experience is closer to 30 minutes. You can now reload Dungeon Alchemist and the new tokens appear under the Hero Forge tab in the token toolbar. Warning! STL download files will not import to Dungeon Alchemist. Make sure you purchase 3D Digital. Step 3. Token Controls the first time you place a token in Dungeon Alchemist, a tutorial pops up. But just in case you accidentally skipped over it, you can reference it again by clicking the Help tab, then First Person View. If you have played any first person games, the controls will immediately be familiar. W is forward, S is backward, spacebar to jump. You can even interact with objects such as doors, lights, and animations by left clicking. One crucial bit of information that is easy to miss is that you must first place a token and then click the eye icon. You know what? I'm going to call that the icon from now on. This places you in first person mode and you can now control the token to explore, record, and screenshot the map from that perspective. At a glance, this seems like a silly feature, but for a clever game master, it's an opportunity to create custom handouts, scene intros, chase scenes, theater of the mind shots, etc. The only limit to this feature is your own imagination. It's important to note that tokens are for use in Dungeon Alchemist only and do not export at this time. I hope you found this walkthrough simple and informative. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mac, your community manager, and I will see you next time I give a damn.